Fisher, question. Thank you, Nassau County Court. I can ask the Minister for Rural and Community Development his plans to review CLAR areas based on the 2016 census. Thank you, Deputy, for the question. Uh, the CLAR programme was originally launched in October 2001 to provide for targeted investment in disadvantaged rural areas. The areas originally selected for inclusion in the programme were those which suffered the greatest population decline from 1926 to 1996. The, Col the Colony Palencia was also included on the basis of a serious difficulties caused in the area by the foot and mouth disease. The average population loss in the original Clare region over the period from 1926 to 1996 was 50%. In 2006, an analysis of the 2002 census data was carried out by Nursa Institute at Maynooth University and the programme was extended to include areas with an average population loss of 35% between 1926 and 2002. The, the CLAR programme was closed for new applications in 2010. However, I have relaunched the programme in the second half of 2016, using as a baseline the areas identified in the work carried out by NERSA over 1,200 projects have been approved for funding of 25 million under the tower since I relaunched the programme in 2016. I have now initiated a review of the TAR programme, which will, in particular, examine TAR areas in light of the 2016 census of population data. The review process began on the 23rd of November with a targeted consultation meeting with a number of people who are recognised for their background and expertise in relation to rural development issues. The review will also involve more detailed stakeholders consultations and, will inform, and we will inform launches of the TAR programme in the future. I anticipate that the review will be completed in the first half of 2019. Thank you, Minister. As you know, I've raised this issue on a number of times since I got elected into uh, the Dáil here. There are only two counties outside of Dublin excluded from the CLAR programme, and that's Kildare and Wexford. And partially that is because the CLAR programme is still based on the 2002 census. We've had three census since then, and uh, a number of areas in Wexford would have come in within the CLAR programme, but have been excluded because of the reliance on the 2002 census. And I think that has, I think, been deeply unfair to Wexford, especially as Wexford consistently and unfortunately appears in any disadvantaged uh, assessment or any socioeconomic assessments were consistently the third or fourth worst counties. So to be excluded from uh, one particular source of income I think is quite unfortunate. I would highlight another matter and, and, and I know um, where I think Clark kind of masks sometimes areas of concern and that's down along the south coast and into Wexford where our young population is depopulated but the population itself tends to stay stagnant because we get a lot of retirees moving down. And those retirees are very welcome, but it can sometimes mass uh, an issue of uh, depopulation of the young people. And without the young people, we simply can't progress our rural areas. And it's something, perhaps, Minister, you might have a look at in the future. Minister. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, look, uh, I want to thank the Deputy for raising it. You did raise this before. And to be fair, my first priority was to get the programme opened again, which I did. And to be fair, um, you know, Using the census figures that we're using really doesn't make sense, and I need now to, to do the review. And I want that review done quickly. And I need to look at ways and means. You know, there might be other, exactly what you're after raising there. There might be other issues that we need to include areas in for the CLAR programme. And you know, as where things have changed in certain areas, I could take some parts of my own constituency that was in the original CLAR programme. You'd have to question now: should there be in it? And there's other areas that should be in it that are not in it. So I do need to start looking at it. I do need to start. Uh, I do need to start uh, looking at ways and means to include, particularly where there's disadvantage, where 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 there's issues that need to be dealt with. And that's the one good thing about the CLAR programme. You can actually target schemes. You can look at ways and means to target schemes. And it's a, it's a scheme that I like. It's a scheme that I, I want to continue. But I do believe that the, the census figures that I'm using now, they're, they're out of date. I do need to get a, a new, uh, and I have it done. We have started the consultation, and I want to get down to the grassroots as well, not alone professionals there. I want to get down to the grassroots to see what they have to say and what they might come back with to see and uh, maybe look at ways and means of actually improving the CLAR programme. Thank you, Minister. I welcome the Minister's intention to review the uh, current CLAR programme in terms of the uh, census, and I would hope that, the, uh, as the Minister himself has mentioned, to kind of look at the deeper issues and make sure that the, the proper funding is targeted at the true disadvantaged areas. Thank you. Minister. Thank you. Again, 
Deputy, uh, I want to say, you know, you've continued to raise this, and as I said, the, the review process has commenced, and, uh, you know, I have well-respected researchers, and, and, you know, but I also, from Manute University, but I also want to talk to people on the ground. I want to, you know, the practical operators that are, are operating some of these schemes, and but the one thing I like about the DAR programme, as I said, you can identify difficulties, you can, you know, create schemes to help and support uh, communities that need it. And it was a bit like uh, the Minister was speaking about here earlier. Sometimes there's areas that don't get what they should because they may not have the support that they need to be able to make the applications. That's something I need to look at, and it is something that I will be looking at in this scheme. Thank you.